All right, I uh, polished out the bore of the mainspring housing. I went ahead and replaced the piston and the plunger at the bottom. I polished up the hammer and all. And I was like, you know what? Colt built this with the intention of it being a service sidearm. With all the parts interchangeable, I was like, screw it. I took the barrel out of my Colt, or excuse me, out of my Springfield Armory Range Officer and the bushing, and I stuck them in there and the damn thing cycles. I'm gonna try to shoot it. I got gloves on, I got safety glasses, I got a shield. It may not even go bang because the uh, firing pin, it was so rusty it may not do it. But I'm gonna give it a shot, damn it. I don't have the plunger tubing all on it, so I may break the damn thing, may blow it up. But I think it's worth a shot and see what happens. This is the original Colt. Alright. 1911, not a one. Maybe about to screw up. It cycled one round in it. It's in the chamber, so we're gonna see. Well, I'm jerked too damn far. Oh! Now I'm gonna have all kind of trouble with it. Ah! Without that plunger tube and the plungers, the uh, the slide lock is trying to come out. Let's see, I got one in the gun, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven total. Just aiming at the hip pit, not in any general area. Slide lock keeps jumping on because they ain't got the plunger tube in it. Yo, Glock, kiss my hundred year old coat loving ass. She works. The slide lock kept jumping up because it doesn't have the plunger tube, but damn it. <laughs> it hit. 